Hi, I'm Lauren. I want to share with you my lip routine from lip care all the way through makeup. Now, my goal for my lips is for them to look full, healthy, and also to disguise the lip lines around my lips. Now, these are my lips now, and I want to take you through my whole routine from start to finish. First, I want to exfoliate my lips. Now, sometimes I use honey and sugar together as an exfoliant, but I have found I love this tool. I got them on Amazon and there were three in a pack and they just work fantastic without being as abrasive. So I just take, this is just coconut oil from the grocery store and I apply it to my lips. Let me get some on my hands. You can even rub it on the tips of your fingers and just go like this, like you're putting on gloss. And then I take the little scrubby. My favorite side is the fine scrub, and I just go back and forth. Now, this is much less abrasive than a toothbrush. I know that gets recommended a lot, but I've had friends that their lips have gotten in big trouble over exfoliating. So I like this and go right along the ridge too. You want to think of not just exfoliating the actual lip, but also underneath because this skin can build up here and that's where those fine lines really start showing. So I just go like this on the lips and then you wipe it off and you're all done. For bringing moisture back to my lips and making them feel plump, I found two great products. First of all, for the lip lines around my lips, I love this Queen Bee Paper Keeper. It's actually an eye balm, so I use it around the eyes, but it works amazing around the lips. And I just take this and massage it right in on the lip line right above. And I do little circles. It's also great to massage your lips. Um, a friend of mine is an esthetician, and she told me that every night I should be doing little circles back and forth over the lips to bring circulation to the area and help plump the lips. But I just go right around the lips with this Peeper Keeper, and that really hydrates those fine lines. The other product that I've talked about before is the Beauty Hacks Lip Sleeping Mask. This is amazing. You can see I've used quite a bit of it and I just take the little spatula. They give you a silicone spatula and go over the lips. Now this is a lip sleeping mask, but I have used it during the day too because it just feels so amazing on my lips. But you just put this on and it really hydrates them. The different oils that are in it plumps up the lips. When I wake up in the morning, my lips don't look dry anymore. They seem so full and it just makes them feel smooth and amazing. During the day, if I'm going out, then I'm going to be applying some sunscreen to my lips. I've been using this Vanna Cream Lip Protectant. Now it is white but I let it really dry on the lips and then go over it with my regular lipstick. You can apply it right from the tube or take it on your finger like this. Now this has a protectant of 30 and I even rub it above the lip because I want protection there. I notice I have like a little freckle at the top of my lip. So you do get hit by the sun in this area. So I even go a little bit beneath because I'm just going to get that sun protection all around the lip. I found a little gem that works so great for those pesky lip lines, and it's this Rimmel Moisture Renew. It's made as a clear liner to help stop any lipstick from going to those fine lines. But what I like to do is actually draw in the lines. So I will take it above on the skin above my lip, and if I see a lip line, I'll just sort of color it in like you're coloring in a coloring book. And I just fill in any little lines that I see. This is great to put on before your lip liner if you want to use a color liner. You don't have to, but if you want your lips to look larger, I feel like you are going to have to use a colored lip liner. But I like to put this Moisture Renew as sort of a barrier wall for my lip liner and lipstick. Many people use concealer or foundation on the lips to help the lipstick stay on. But the problem with that for me is those can be very drying on the lips and that's the opposite of what we're trying to do. I've been using this product from Sigma for well over a year. It's their Lose the Halo and it's like a concealer but made specifically for your lips. I've found that it doesn't dry my lips out. And by using this, not only do I get the natural true color of the lipstick because my lipstick, my own lips are very mauve, but also what I find is I can draw a little above the lip line and hide it. So I'm going to go in with the Loose the Halo and just press it into my lips. You can see it uh, right away. The pigmentation of this is great.
Now give it a moment to dry. You don't want to go right on top of it. You want to give this, it's creamy and it needs a little minute to set. But once you do, you'll see the pigmentation of the liner and the lipstick being so much more intense. There are two brands of lip liners that are my go-to. One is LA Girl. My two favorite shades are Enduring Mauve and Keep It Spicy. And I've mentioned Keep It Spicy many times because it's an amazing shade that goes with pretty much everything. The other lip liner that I love, the brand, is Rimmel, the Exaggerate line. And East End Snob is one that I purchased and repurchased many, many times. But today I'm going to use Keep It Spicy. And now that the lip halo, I feel like it's pretty much dry. I'm going to go right on the ridge of the lip. I don't like overdrawing my lips a lot because I do feel it doesn't look natural enough. And I'm going to draw a line a little more intense at the bottom of my lip to make the bottom lip look fuller. You may need to adjust that depending on the size of your lips if you're trying to make your upper lip look larger or your bottom lip. So I'm starting right at the top here, right on the ridge. Okay, now let's go to the bottom lip. I'm starting in the center. I find it's hard to make a straight line, so I like like little dashes sort of doing this, like going in like that. Getting in the corners. Now, one thing I like to do is add a little bit of the lip liner, darken the corners of the mouth so the uh, center of the mouth looks more pouty. So I'm going to fill in with this in the corner to put the emphasis right in the center. Let's go in with our lipstick now. This is a new lipstick from Revlon. They have a new line with cream mattes and shine lipstick. This is the cream number 762 Flushed. And this is a beautiful pink. And I'm also going to be going over this with a gloss from Rimmel. The shade here is called Nonstop Glamour and it's cold with some sparkle. I like to put that in the center of the lips also to make them look poutier. So let's start with a lipstick. Now you can use a lip brush, I do that often, but you can also take your finger just to blend a little bit. I wanna keep that center light. I don't, that will also make the lips look poutier, so I don't wanna to do too much blending. There we go, you can still see a little of the lightness in the center, which is what I was going for. And now let's go in with that Rimmel Stay Glossy, the Nonstop Glamour. This is one of those shades that will work with any lipstick that you currently have, so I like that. It's multitasker. Now I'm not gonna put lip gloss all over my whole lips. I'm just going right in the center. Some of it will migrate and move around over time. And there you have it. There are a couple other little tricks that I do sometimes when I really want my lips to look full. One is to use my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I like to take a little eyeshadow. This is actually a brow brush. I'm going to take that and just dip it into this. You probably already have some bronzer that you like. And I'm just going to go in the center on the bottom lip. What I like about using the Butter Bronzer, it's very soft, it blends nicely, and this just gives you a little more of a fuller bottom lip. The key to this is blending so well that it just looks like a shadow under your lip, so make sure that you're using a brush, or you can even take your finger again and just blend a little bit. I always like to put a little pop of shimmer right in the cupid's bow. So I'm using my Physician's Formula Warm Nude Palette, this very sheer light shade here. I'm going to use there and I'm going to just tap it and blend. Again, blending is really important. You don't want to look like you have a, a highlighter there. You just want a little bit of brightness. If you want, you can layer a couple of different shades of highlighters. I'm going to go in with this little pink shade. It's sort of a pinky uh, nude shade and I want to tap a little more right on the Cupid's bow, less on the skin. 
What I love for on the go is this product from CoverGirl. I've used this many years and it's probably my most repurchased product ever. What I like about this is it's clear. It adds a lot of shine to the lips and you don't have to worry about what lipstick you already have on, something not matching with it. Now what I like to do too is sometimes I'll put a lip pencil on and put this over it. But this has so many uses to it. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I truly appreciate all of you, the thumbs up, your comments, they mean so much. Now in the first pinned comment, you'll see the winner of the Ulta bag of goodies and congratulations to our winner. Now this week I'm giving away two of the lip masks from Beauty Hacks. They sent them to me to use as a giveaway and I really appreciate them doing that. I would have to say of the five and a half years I've been on YouTube, this is the product I've gotten the most positive feedback about. So many of you've written me back and said what a difference it made in your lips. So I really appreciate that feedback. And I'm sure that'll be helpful to others that are struggling like we all do at times with dry lips. Thanks so much for watching.